let me show you the few steps that we have to take in order to configure this MBIoT cell into an NTN cell. First step is configuring the band, which is configured right now as band 5, but we will move to band 255, which is one of the new bands defined for NTM. Then we can go to the cell configuration tab and enable NTM as it is configuring here, and you will see the cell is configured already as a satellite. And then the last step, but one of the most important steps we have to make is configuring the SIP31 and also what's going to be the orbit being emulated. And for that, we have two choices. We can configure the orbit as a geosynchronous orbit in which the satellite is static in the space and therefore it can be emulated with just a simple static RTT delay. Or on the other hand, we can configure and emulate a geosynchronous, a GSO orbit in which there is variant delay or variant Doppler um, in which we would be able to configure through these settings here. But let's start with a geosynchronous, a simple geo uh, satellite. And for that, we can configure a K offset of 480 milliseconds based on the ephemeris uh, of the satellite. And we will uh, configure a delay for the channel of 479.99, which is the equivalent of the distance with the, between the satellite and the UE. And that's all we have to do. So let's just go to the system and message summary and enable turning the cell on. And as you can see, we are already transmitting the different SIPs, including SIP 31 with the information about the ephemeris of the satellite and the K offset that was configured. 